We should go to Gujin for a weapon, like Master Lee said. Then we can address whatever threat these bandits pose. Fair enough. Uh, all right. So this is a lot like Dragon Age. We should Age. get our weapons as quickly as we can. I am honored that Master Lee feels I am. I, which I like because it's a little different from Mass Effect in that it's more like Dragon Age in that um, you can actually talk to people. I think I already read this, yeah. You can actually talk to people uh, in your party as you're traveling, which I kind of missed in the Mass Effect series. But that's okay. Oh, I have to go through here, because that person guarding the gate's no longer here. Alright, let's head on out to Two Rivers, or the rest of Two Rivers, rather. Saving game. Alright, so we've got an autosave here. Wow. This looks a busy place. Uh oh. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it. Let's just start looting. Huh. And get first crack at the good stuff. All right. You're right. This isn't worth it. You're not. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. But. <laughs> Oh yeah. Good stuff. All right. I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Good stuff, Don Star. You had you totally had that. Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? Oh, poor guy. I'm so shocked. I don't know what to say. You have to keep us safe. Don't worry. Heavens, no. Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? All right. So let's let's look at the map. All right, so we've got the mer Merchant Fen Do Town Square Weapon Master. Oh, Weapon Master Gujin and Gujin the Weapon Master. All right, and then here is really the beach. I want to go to the beach. Can we go to the beach? I'm I kind of want to check out the beach first. This is totally not where I'm supposed to be going, but that's okay. I kind of want to explore, guys. This is a blind elf. So I wanna, you know, get the lay of the land because apparently I'm supposed to know this place and these people. And as a player, I kind of don't. So, <laughs> oh wait, what do we got here? Ooh, silver. I, I guess I need to pay more attention to, to to hidden items and stuff. I don't think I can ah, hold. I'm healed. Oh. I just pressed shift because I would thought it was maybe like Dragon Age where you know the objects that you can interact with just show up when you press shift but I guess not. I started healing myself. Oh wait, wait, can I not go can I not go into Fendo's shop? I guess he locked up because of the bandits. Ooh, 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 sign, sign. Sign to the beach. All right. Sorry, Donstar. I just I just, you know, want to this path leads to the beach. Gushin's shop is north of the main square. We should really get our weapons as soon as we can. I'm, I'm, but, but, but look, it's the beach. Look, it's the sand and it's the water and I, ooh, I can like flip. Look, 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 see? Isn't this great, Dawn Star? Isn't this, all right, bandits, fine, bandits, bandits, bandits. Hey, look, there's a dude, Groundskeeper Willie or Old Ming, rather. A fine statue, isn't it? Too bad no one bothers to pay it proper respect but me. Not at all. A fitting tribute to our leader, Emperor Sun. Though no one else seemed interested in venerating this, his rule. I'd be more worried about it with dog bothering bandits coming this way. But I know Master Lee's not going to let them harass the, com the Emperor or this town. Not at all. Not Your master's a fine man. He's managed to salvage a few of you students. Gosh, like, that language, he only speaks like a few words and he can say all that? Wow. Uh, and he's managed to salvage a few of you students, which is more than most would manage working with your generation. Go, go away and stop bothering me, you old goat. No, no, no. Might I ask some questions? Not many people seem interested in what old Ming has to say, even if I've been here longer than anyone. 
What did you want, anyway? And make it snappy. At my age, I could die at the drop of a blossom. Oh. Uh, Alright. Sorry, sir. Um... Well, yeah, tell me about yourself, old man. Whoa, voice change. What would you have me speak about? How long have you lived in Two Rivers? All my life. More years than I can remember. Very little has changed. Oh, uh, what do you do? I used to grow rice. Now I live on a small stipend sent by my son. He has long since moved further down in Golden Delta. He never comes to visit. Typical. But the silver reminds me that he cares. Oh yeah, he's buying your love. Old man, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Un unless you're, you're perfectly okay with that. If these bones get any more creepy, creaky, maybe I'll move down with him. Uh, I have to ask, why are you sweeping the beach? Obviously, I've turned this beach into a grand meditation garden where the contemplative mind can see the pathways of the future in the lay of the sand. Or maybe, it's just something to keep me busy. At my age, at my age, you need a purpose, or you just fade away. He's kind of like Gwyn, where he's talking about, you know, his age, like, every other sentence. I get it, you're old, I get it. Uh, if you wish, but I have only so many years left. Give me a jostle if I night off. I mean, oh, come on, man. Don't, don't beat yourself up about your age. Uh, can we talk a bit about the past? Good on you. History is best taught through stories. A teacher lecturing about the past is like listening to paper crumple when you want to hear a waterfall. Everything's lost in the translation. What do you know about the spirit world? Mm, perhaps you think I have an affinity for spirits since I am close to becoming one myself. Oh, oh my gosh, come on! Enough with the old jokes. I'm not that old yet. Well, that's surprising to me, considering how often you bring it up. I keep my feet toward the earth, and my head is straight in the opposite direction as I can manage. I wish others were as practical. I have heard many ghost stories lately. Travelers talk of roads awash in spirits. I am quicker to blame that on bowls of wine than a glut of the dead. Tell me about the long drought. You are too young to know what it was like. A decade of thirst with all the land cracked and bare. It was wor it was worst in the great cities. Riots claimed hundreds and thousands of lives. Emperor Sun Hai put all his influence toward ending the drought and saved us all. But there was a cost. Dun dun dun. I don't know where the front line was, or the name of the enemy, but the Emperor's own brothers, Sun Kin and Sun Li, I, I totally wanted to say Sun Kissed, <laughs> Sun Kissed, now I'm just gonna call him Sun Kissed, Sun Kissed and Sun Li were lost. Yeah, but what really happened? As I said, the Emperor corrected whatever great offense to the heavens that had afflicted the Empire, and thus ended the drought. That isn't another... That isn't answer enough for you, I know. For the young, it never is. In time, you will understand that the Emperor must deal with things that you are not meant to know or comprehend. You accept that, but you're too practical for ghosts? I have faith in the order of things. The Emperor knows things that I am not meant to. If the fisherman sends his catch to market, does the customer need to know how to fish? No, he just knows that someone else does. That is the order of things. It is real, and I know it works. Ghosts and shadows are tavern tales. So, how was the Empire formed? The Empire was forged out of warring countries by the iron will and inestimable, inestim, inestimable might of sagacious Tian, the first emperor. In titanic battles out at sea by the ice caps, ice glaciers, 
that no he didn't say that in titanic battles and sense negotiations he brought harmony to the chaotic world and created a single culture that stands to all over all others i know some of these jokes aren't funny guys this is mostly for my own amusement not necessarily for your amusement <laughs> um yeah all right let's go back to my other questions yes uh, you wish but i've only so many years left yeah 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 um Tell me about the Emperor. Oh, I don't dare speak of Emperor Sun. My words can't do proper justice to his glory. He is a hero to many. He better not turn into a jerk like Loghain. Ending the drought earned him great respect, even if he no longer shows his influence this far from the walls of the imp Imperial City. Is the Emperor neglecting the Borderlands? I would never suggest such a thing. He must simply have greater concerns elsewhere. Yes, yes, he must. Master Li has commented that he much prefers that Two Rivers does not get any attention. It is a sign that is all is well here. Um, what are your thoughts on Two Rivers? Oh. <laughs> this place is so full of naval... naval gazers. Oh, Alright. Naval gazers, that it's nice to see someone looking up and out for a change. Who are the important citizens? Yes, that would depend on who you ask. I suspect everyone would cast a single vote for themselves. I'll give me your opinion. Master Li is the real leader here. Everyone looks up to him, and his word passes for law around these parts. His wisdom is unquestionable. He teaches a lot at the school, but Gujin, the weapon master, helps out a lot around town, making him probably the most well-liked man around. The weapon master is the most well-liked man around. Huh, interesting. Then there's Merchant Fendo. Someday I appreciate it if he'd quit complaining that he hasn't struck it rich yet. At least he hasn't struck it elderly, I say. Uh, I should start a drinking game where you take a drink every single time this guy makes a crack at his age. Um, how are the students viewed? I think you're a bunch of noise-making hoodlums. Get off my lawn. No better than rabble. Then again, I take that of ev I think that of everyone. It's the privilege of age, you know. That counts. That counts. I'm taking a drink right now. How fitting. I have some green tea. Iced tea. Um, to drink. That, that's very fitting with this game. Most people see you students in a good light. You're not a bad lot, for the most part. Backhanded compliment if there ever was one. What do you mean? For every dawn star there is a gal. That should be enough to show my meaning. Ah, well, well, fair enough. You flatter, sir. I am sorry not every student has earned such respect. All right, let's go back to my other questions. Um, I just spotted bandits in town, which is like the whole point of this whole conversation, I guess. They are they were asking questions. Curses! No were two of them weren't there. I should have known better than to let them stroll by. Because, but I was old, right? You were old, too old to stop them. They pulled up a small bar just around the bend and walked over to this beach. Tried to ask me some questions, but I shooed them away so I could clean the statue. Then I hear there's a bandits coming. Twenty years ago, I'd have put together that those were scouts. I'm sure you taught them a lesson. Well, yeah, mostly Dawnstar, actually. Uh, any other sign of bandits down here? Not yet, but word has it they're coming by a river, so this might be where they land. Oh, interesting. They're fools to land in the sight of the Emperor's statue. His glory will inspire us to fight back. Of course, in a pinch, we could always drop him on a few of them. <laughs> drop him on a few of them. Nice, nice. Alright, I'm. that's fine. Goodbye for now. I wish you well. You are an interesting, interesting old man. And this is the Emperor. Em Emperor... Emperor Sun. Sunkissed, I think. Emperor Sunkissed. Ooh, there's a cave in here. What do we have here? Oh no, wait, is this where he came from? No, I don't think so, because the fog of war says that this... we haven't gone here yet. Alright, well, that was the beach. See, Dawnstar, that was... that was important. Aren't you glad we went... took a stroll at the beach? 
All right. Um, let's see. I know that the weapon shop is over there, so I just want to talk to some of the others villagers. I heard a terrible scream. Are the bandits here yet? Wow, these villages these villagers are like so skilled in ventriloquism. I can't I can't get over that. Bamboo cask. I'm just looting everybody's barrels apparently. I guess they shouldn't have put their silver in them. Or people can just, you know, walk up and grab it. Here I am, you know, trying to fight off bandits and I'm stealing the villagers silver left and right. How how do you like that? Oh hey, guard young. Were, weren't you guarding the other door just a second ago or are you a different guard? Bandits, huh? I I see a lot of them. I better let someone else have some fun for a change. Sure, sure. That's pretty cool looking sword there. can't abandon the gate. You never know if they're going to sneak around. Yeah, just like those other two bandits kind of snuck in as well with you just standing there. Uh everyone is needed. Get ready to fight. Uh, no, please. I, I can't fight. I just didn't want to be a rock picker in my grandfather's field. You don't say. You can't fight? Guarding the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. It's alright. It's alright. Dude, I got you. I got you. You, me. Oh, spirit font. But my spirit, my my chi is, is, is full. So I think, I think we're good. Um... This I think you were about to say this building is Master Gujin. So, yeah. Oh, there's a dummy over there. Um. Scroll stand. The martial arts, the pride, perfection, and achievement of an individual are represented in many ways. The honing of the mind, civic achievements and glory gained for the empire, the development of the spirit and one's inner energies, and the training of the body. Through the body, the practitioner imposes his will upon himself, and through that, upon the universe. Through use of his body, the, ma the martial artist achieves transcendence and strength, overcoming all obstacles, both physical and spiritual. Not really sure if that really taught us anything. Oh. You received Legacy of Master Lee. Press the attack button to close. Whoa. Hidden bonus book set complete? What? Oh. Well, okay then. I guess I'm glad I actually read that. And that's a spirit focus shrine, and our focus is, is full. Gujin, the weapon master. <laughs> if it isn't the, t if it isn't two of the master Lee's best and brightest, there's not much left for me to teach you two, so you can't be here for lessons. Hello, weapon master Gujin. Good day to you. <laughs> oh, there's no need for titles, not from you two. Sort of reminds me of Hagrid. Kind of. Not as large, but kind of. Why do you insist on speaking like that, Gujin? The old tongue, you mean? Anyone with half an education understands Thofan. And some of us prefer the way it rolls off the tongue. Don't act like it's a surprise. Lots of people speak it, although I suppose it is concentrated mostly in the prosperous East. Starting to sound a little bit like um, Sean Connery, almost, or a dwarf. <laughs> if you'd prefer, if you... I don't need to use the fan. Now, what brings you here? Oh, good. Wow, your voice is completely different from what I was using before. Well, sorry about that. Um, bandit scouts are here in Two Rivers. Master Lee sent me for a weapon. Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Hook me up. Donstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after. And I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Oh, I hope it's cool. Whatever it well, is. Well, two, actually. Okay. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. Okay. Well... Uh... Is there anything special about these weapons? Anything? Everything. Okay. 
I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. Why do I have the... You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. Why do I have a feeling that you tell everyone that every single... Why, why do I get the feeling that every single item you try to sell someone, you say these are legendary special weapons where everything is special about them? I don't know. I, 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 I smell a sales pitch. Like a... I don't know. But anyway, do I want a longsword or do I want a staff? Y you know, uh, to be quite honest, uh, d the staff really is more my style. I'm not... I'm not a I'm not a big sword person, mostly because that's I think that's kind of typical. I think everyone, uh, most people I think go for the sword, but I, I I I like the staff. It's really, it's 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 I think there's a it, it requires a little more finesse. That and Donatello is my favorite, uh, Ninja Turtle for a reason, for a reason. I think this is like the wise man's weapon, and that's why I kind of like it. Um. Couldn't you give whichever weapon I don't pick to Dawnstar? Hey, that's a valid question. Couldn't you give whichever weapon I don't pick to Dawnstar? I'm afraid not. She would not be able to handle one of these weapons quite yet. All right. I'll explain why in a moment. But suffice it to say that very few people have your aptitude for maintaining focus in battle. Fair enough. In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this. But don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. All right, all right, all right. I'm just, I was trying, I tried, Donsar. I was trying to look out for you there, girl. All right, let's hear about the staff. Golden Star. I kind of like that, I kind of like that name, Golden Star. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. Mm hmm A young noble convinced the great eastern serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. That's pretty cool. It could be pure fantasy, but the staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. Yeah, I like I like staves because they're so unassuming compared to swords. Um Well, I might as well ask. Uh tell me about the long sword fortune's favorite. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say. But this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. Yeah, I like the staff's story cool. I thought the staff's story was cooler. They say... Yeah. I, it, I will take the golden star. I am perfectly happy with that. Your weapon is well deserved. Whoa. And you'll need it with these bandits so close. Da 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 da! If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. No, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be happy with this. Uh, is there anything else? One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Okay. Focus. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon. And the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. Okay. Uh, I should go see the townsfolk now. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. Of course I will. <laughs>